I mean, this is like three blocks from my house. This is the part of D.C. where dignitaries just don't come, you know. With the Pope business, he doesn't come to my neighborhood, so that's great, you know. Um, before I became homeless, I had absolutely no idea about homelessness, and I had no idea about racism either, because there were two things that didn't exist where I, where I grew up. And I'm not saying that the people weren't racist, I'm saying that there weren't any other races to discriminate against. Um, but I'm living proof that homelessness is not an exclusively African-American issue, not here in the district or anywhere else in the country. But what it is, is whoever's the poorest, that's who becomes homeless. In the South, African Americans are the ones who are predominantly homeless. Out West, it's Latinos, Native Americans. The only places in this country where the whites are predominantly homeless or where there aren't any other people to be homeless. So, coming to the district was pretty much a crash course for me in both learning how to be homeless and learning about racism. What really amazed me was how in what they call the chocolate city, you know, a city with black mayors and black governments, they seem to be working so hard to get black people out of downtown. I used to stay at this shelter, Franklin Shelter, five blocks from the White House. The city has tried and tried and tried to close that down and to move all of the residents, almost entirely we're talking black residents, out of there and into the shelter just like a couple blocks down the street over here, 801 East. Because this is where we belong. We don't belong down here. No. Homeless people don't belong here. So uh, um, it was a real eye-opening experience, you know, my time on the streets and then later on as an advocate for the homeless here in, in D.C. Uh, one thing that I want to say as I'm closing is that there's no justifiable reason why this issue should continue in the richest nation on the face of the earth. We spend more money keeping people homeless than it would cost to house people. Uh, Sam Sabars from Pathways to Housing uh, in New York City, he did a study that showed it cost ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year less to house every single person who's homeless than to, than to keep them homeless. So the only reason that we're doing it is because we just don't care. Because you look who's homeless. Poor people. You know, black people. Hispanics. Native Americans. You know, populations that have been forgotten, especially over the last decade. So, uh, again, I want to thank you for coming, and uh, I hope that we can 